What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the missing number of an equivalent fraction. So, I got a few examples here. Let's run through them. So, starting at the top left, we have two thirds is equal to something over nine. So, how do you find this something? Well, all you have to figure out is how to get from one number to the other. Okay, so if we're going from three to nine, how do you do that? Well, in order to get from three to nine, you have to multiply by three, right? Because three times three is equal to nine, okay? But with equivalent fractions, when you multiply by something on the bottom, you have to multiply by the same thing on top. So if we're gonna multiply by three down here, we also have to multiply by three up here, okay? So what's two times three? That's equal to six. So two over three, or two thirds, is equivalent to six over nine, or six ninths. All right, let's do another one. So we have eight over three is equal to something over 15. So in this case, we're trying to figure out how we get from three to 15. Okay, well, three times five is equal to 15, right? So we have to multiply by five, okay? But remember, if we're gonna multiply by five at the bottom, we also have to multiply by five in the top. So what's eight times five? That's 40. So then we have eight over three is equal to 40 over 15, okay? So these two fractions are equivalent fractions. All right, next example. We have two over something is equal to 10 over 30. Okay, so the easier way to solve this problem right here is going from the fraction that you have to the fraction that you don't have. So what do I mean by that? So 10 over 30, we have this fraction, right? It is complete. But this one, two over something, this one is incomplete, right? So we wanna go from the one that we have, this one, to that one. Okay, so how do we get from 10 to two? Well, we would have to divide by five, right? 10 divided by five is equal to two. But remember, whatever you do to the top, you also have to do to the bottom. So if we're gonna divide by five here, we also have to divide by five down here. So what is 30 divided by five? Well, that would be six, okay? So two over six is equal to 10 over 30. Okay, these are equivalent fractions. Okay, now let's go to this fraction down here. So remember, we always wanna start with the one that we have, the completed one. So here, that would be five over four, okay? So five over four is equal to something over 20. How would we solve this one? Well, in order to get from four to 20, you would have to multiply by five, right? So if we're gonna multiply by five down here, we also have to multiply by five up here. So what is five times five? Well, that's just equal to 25, okay? So five over four is equal to 25 over 20. Okay, so now we have another completed fraction, okay? So we could either use this fraction or this fraction to solve for this last fraction right here. Here's a little tip for your homework or test. Start with the one that you're given because if you use this one and you made a mistake on it, well, when you use it, you're also gonna get a mistake on this one, right? But this first one, this original one, was given to us, so we know it's correct. So let's just use this one, okay? So we have five over four is equal to 50 over something. So how do you get from five to 50? Well, you have to multiply by 10, it looks like, right? Five times 10 is equal to 50. Okay, so if we're gonna multiply by 10 up here, we also have to multiply by 10 down here. Okay, so what's four times 10? That's 40, okay? So five over four and 50 over 40 are equivalent fractions. Okay, now let's do this last one. So the one that we are given is this one, right? Seven over 63. So how do we get from seven to one? Well, we would have to divide by seven, right? Seven divided by seven is equal to one. So that means we're gonna have to also divide by seven on the bottom. All right, so what's 63 divided by seven? Well, that's just equal to nine. Okay, so one over nine and seven over 63 are equivalent fractions. Okay, so we just have this last one to figure out. 
So again, I'm going to start with the one that I was given, so 7 over 63. How do I get from 63 to 126? Well, let's see, 63, that's pretty close to 60, right? And if I multiply it by 2, or in other words, if I double it, that would be 120, right? Which is pretty close to 126. So I think 63 times 2 might be 126. Let's see. 3 times 2 is 6, and then 2 times 6 is 126. Okay, so that checks out, right? So to get from 63 to 126, we have to multiply by 2, right? But again, if I'm going to do it at the bottom, I have to multiply by 2 at the top. So what's 7 times 2? That would be 14. Okay, so 7 over 63 is equal to 14 over 126. All right, guys, so that's how you find the missing number of equivalent fractions. I hope the examples were helpful. If they were, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check that out, and I'll see you there.